So what is the top announcement we've heard from Ignite? Probably what is Microsoft Loop and why does it matter? To Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? Well, what Loop represents is something that was promised years ago. Microsoft announced and shared something called the Fluid Framework. And the Fluid Framework was a way to have web parts or components that were always up to date. If you make a change in a table, you know, where you change a value um, inside of Teams, you'd see that value propagated in a website, uh, you know, inside of SharePoint, or you'd see it propagated perhaps in Outlook, you know, if you're looking at an email that relates to that item. And the reason that was really powerful was it meant that if you send an email to someone and you include something like a table, well, that table would always be up to date. So if we have a meeting and we you know, talk about the, the uh, items in that table and we update them, then when you go to a, um, you know, someone else who hasn't been involved in that collaboration, looks at that you know, email that was re related to that um, context or, or subject, they would see those updates uh, you know, live. It's always kind of up to date. And that's a really powerful uh, promise that Microsoft's making that you know, co-authoring as we see it today is something that we should have for not just Word or, or the, the content, but we should have that across all forms of content uh, and experiences. And that's where Loop is kind of realizing that ambition. What Loop is, is a new application experience that allows us to have this sort of always up-to-date, um, highly collaborative uh, space where we can work on content and share. And that content, those um, components, it's called Loop components, those components can then be surfaced within, say, a Teams conversation or that Outlook email example where I you know, kind of add it to the Outlook email that I send as a summary you know, to someone who wasn't as involved. And what's great is, you know, just like when I you get 10 times smarter after I click send and I update, you know, uh, a SharePoint link because I update a document. Well, now you'll get that updated version of, you know, that table that I included with pricing or something like that. There was a direct, um, you know, field, a direct loop component within the email itself. So the way loop gets integrated inside of Teams and Outlook um, and OneNote and other places that matter to users, that's way more uh, interesting than what Loop's application experience is going to be like in the next year or two. So, you know, the, the end goal is how our digital hub, right, these Loop experiences will surface and connect um, not just, you know, content collaboration scenarios, but potentially scenarios for business processes as well. You know, a Loop component could be a CRM opportunity, and that CRM opportunity, again, is always up to date and always live. Think of how, uh, you know, capable that could be where if I see something in an email and I go, oh, you know, this contact field is wrong, I can make that change right from my email. I don't have to open up another system or application. And this really, you know, kind of delivers that promise of this truly integrated um, enterprise space, even in applications that aren't in the Microsoft, um, you know, wheelhouse directly, right? So if I wanted to do that same example I just gave with Jira or something like that, um, that is, a, or SAP, those are all scenarios that Microsoft's working on right now with Loop. So that's really exciting. And I think um, it's gonna make a big difference for people. So Loop is here to stay. And, uh, and I hope you, you're excited about it as well. And, you know, don't get too confused. It, yes, it's a new application experience, but, you know, it's not going to uh, create more confusion. It's a temporary experience layer that we'll see embedded, uh, you know, where people are working. So it'll be easier to introduce and teach people over time because it'll just be a part of our new sort of um, canvas for collaboration and content that we work on. So really excited for Loop, and I hope you guys are as well. If you have any questions yourself about Loop, Please feel free to share them. Be uh, be happy to hear them. <laughs>